am the Super Slingshotter Quacky! Do you want to play with the slingshot together? Slingshot is broken. I can take a piece of twine and fix it. I am a super tinkerer. I can fix everything. The twine slingshot is fixed. Let's try again. Quack, quacky, Kiki. My slingshot is broken. I can't shoot far. Let me see. This is because you used the wrong rope. Wrong rope? So what kind of rope should I use? Let's go to the magical laboratory and explore together. Practice your hands and brain. Let's create together. To, to the, the laboratory. laboratory! Let's, Let's go. go! Let's use different ropes to make slingshots. And see which slingshot can shoot the farthest. Twine slingshot. Ribbon slingshot. Rubber band slingshot. Pull it and see how far you can shoot a small paper ball. Twine slingshot. Ribbon slingshot. Rubber band slingshot. Did you figure it out? Which slingshot shoots the farthest? You got it! A rubber band slingshot can shoot very far. The slingshot made of rubber band can shoot a small ball of paper farther. It's because of the elasticity. When you apply force, the rubber band stretches. When you let go, it will shorten. So this is elasticity. That's right. There are a lot of things that have elasticity besides rubber bands. What other things have elasticity? Let's check it out. I want to know if these things have elasticity. Spring, balloon, sponge, iron ball, twine, block, rubber bands, play doh. Let's do an experiment. Press and see who is more elastic. A sponge is more elastic. Play-Doh is less elastic. Press it. A spring is more elastic. A block is less elastic. Press it. A rubber balloon is very elastic. An iron ball has poor elasticity. Pull it! The twine has poor elasticity. The rubber band has high elasticity. The experiment is complete! Quacky, what did you find out? Rubber bands, spring, sponge, balloon. These things are very elastic. There are many items in life that are made of elastic materials. Let's take a look. What have you found that is elastic? 
A spring horse is so springy! Use waistband to tighten pants. Hey! Bouncing on a spring bed. Stretch socks can be stretched easily. Kiki! And this! The rubber band slingshot can shoot the small paper ball very far. Kids, there are still many elastic things in our life. You can find out with your mom and dad. Kids, let's make a balloon boat that can drive itself. Let's see what materials we need first. Balloon. Straw that can be bent. Foam board. We also need a small flag, clip, duct tape, and a small knife. Let's make it together. Cut out the boat shape. Be careful with your hands when cutting. Put the straw on the foam board. Put the straw on the foam. Bend the straw upwards. Put on the duct tape to secure the straw. Put the balloon into the straw. Insert a small flag. Now blow up the balloon. Clip the straw to keep the balloon from leaking. The boat is ready. Let's go. Open the clip to release the air. Look, the boat is moving forward. See how it works. The balloon is elastic and will shrink when you release it. So the air in the balloon will be squeezed out. The air injected is pushed backwards, creating a counter-reaction forward. So the boat will move forward. The balloon boat that can drive itself is so fascinating. All we need is a balloon, a foam board, and a straw. And a small flag, clip, duct tape, and a small knife. So we can make a balloon boat that can drive itself. Make it with your mom and dad together. Small picture book. Great big world. Read the picture book with Kiki and Quacky. A growing top. was trying on her new top. The new top was elastic. It became bigger when it was stretched, and it returned when it was loosened. The kitten stuffed the hanger into the top. With a pair of small wings, she flew around the room. The kitten stuffed the big woolen ball into the top. She had a round belly, just like a big cord. The kitten had a new idea. She put on a pointy hat and stretched out her little top. She was playing the role of a fairy in a dress. The fairy was floating and fluttering. Oops, she tripped and fell. The kitten stood up in a huff and tugged at her top. However, she found that the top was still big and long. How strange! Why can't the top change back? The kitten rushed to tell her mother that the top had grown. After hearing this, Mom smiled and said, this is because there is a limit to the elasticity of the top. If you keep stretching the top more than the limit of the fabric, 
the top will not change back to the original form. The kitten understood that the top was being stretched out by herself and became a dress. The kitten suddenly thought that the waistband of the newly bought pants was a little tight. Use a coat hanger to stretch it, then it would definitely become wider. So the kitten stuffed a big hanger into the waistband of the pants. After a few days, the waistband of the pants was indeed widened by the hanger. The fit was perfect for the kitten. Finish reading the picture book story. See you next time. It's so dark. Come and help install the light bulbs. How do you send the birdie back to the nest? Which basket should the ball go into? How can you bounce the ball into the basket? There are so many fruits! Quickly pick them! Shoot the chick into the corresponding box! How can you hit the big star? Can you hit all the targets? Come and hang the lanterns! Catch these fireflies! Shoot the kitten into the corresponding box! How can you catch the kite? <laughs> 